Wait there, Mr. Seagull. Don't you dare think you're going for my salad. Two seconds, guys. Two seconds. So I started my journey down to Rossley, starting here at Lansdowne Road Station. Here goes by a Dart a Class 8520 train, part of the Dublin Area Rapid Transit System, also known as Dart. In the background there is the Aviva Stadium, home of Irish Rugby as well. This train's going south, it's going out of Dublin City Centre, so I'm waiting on the other platform, ready for my Dart to arrive to take me to Connolly Station. And here approaches my train to take me into Dublin. Hi everyone and welcome to another stupid video by me Craig Bryant. I am here on the banks of the Liffey waiting well i've been waiting for ages so nobody was around because i'm not one of these you know them youtubers who've just got no bother speaking in front of people basically people who've just yet yeah, got the kahunas to speak in front of people uh, i'm not like like that i don't like that at all there's people coming there's people around anyway i'm here to take a train i'm just keeping an eye on my salad because there's a there's a seagull just chilling there as well but i'm here to get a train uh, from here all the way down to ross Lair, where if you know Ross Lair, you rule port, it's in its name, there's going to be ferries. And um, that's what I'm doing around here. How do, how, do, how do YouTubers do this? How do people speak in front of a camera when there's people walking around? It just I just don't understand it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm, I've got about two more hours here uh, in Dublin uh, before uh, getting to uh, the station, Dublin Connolly. Uh, and that'll be a three hour train on Irish Rail or Ernard Aaron, I can't say these words, uh, from Balia. <laughs> I can't say it properly, I've just been on YouTube to try and work that out. Uh, that's apparently Dublin in Irish. Uh, but yes, I'm really looking forward to this train actually. I've seen a couple of videos on it uh, from well more well-known YouTubers. Um, wait there, Mr. Seagull. Don't you dare think you're going for my salad. Two seconds, guys, two seconds. Shove off, Mr. Seagull. That's my incredibly expensive salad, not yours naughty boy anyway um i am going to enjoy the next couple of hours in what is apparently now europe's most expensive city uh, i did just see some uh, colgate toothpaste on sale for seven euros 90 which is an absolute disgrace i've been to oslo uh, about four years ago as well and yeah this is on par at the minute which is a bit which is a bit scary hence why i'm eating supermarket salads um but yes please join me when we get to colony station I think he likes them more than I do.
I got the platform ridiculously early. I had nothing else to do other than to watch so much train movement. There's only three through platforms. The rest of them are terminating platforms in the main train shed that I've just shown, shown you there. This is a class 22,000, I think they are. I'm not a big train nerd. I love railways. And I do like the look of trains, but I'm not one of these, you know, I'm not one of these guys who counts train numbers. Sorry, sorry if you're one of those people watching this. I think it is great. I've got my weird hobbies, but that is not actually one of mine. But here it goes, the class 22,000 train number nerds. Please tell me and shoot me if I'm wrong. As you can see, uh, this is an Ironed Aaron Irish Rail intercity train they all look pretty much the same but you'll see also here comes a dart train sharing the same platform so the dart isn't really separate think of this more as is the s-bahn in berlin rather than a separate light rail system like the london underground or the tyne and weir metro this is far more like a, a commuter heavy rail service that's exactly what it is but it does share a lot of the same track and that you will see causes a lot of problems for our departing train to Ross Lair. So I'm on board now. I'm actually not sitting in the allocated seat. I didn't realise, but they didn't actually have the, the coaches, the letters of the, the coach shown here. But you can see there's a tray table. Um, seemed quite sturdy, if not a bit too metallic. Do not bother using those power outlets. They did not work at all. Uh, it was comfy enough. It was a two and a half hour, three hour actually journey. Uh, but it was, it was not too bad. And here we are setting off from Dublin Connolly Station. So I'll just leave you with some of the views as we leave Dublin.
This train calls at three pretty major stations, one after the other. Dublin Connolly, where the train starts, then Tara Street or Tara Street, if you actually are Irish and you can say it properly, and then Dublin Pier Station. At this point, it became so difficult to film anything. The train just constantly kept stopping and the train was heaving and it would have been a bit weird to do some shots of the inside of the train. So you will see a lot of stuff here of me stopped at stations, waiting behind dart stopping trains as the sunlight disappears into the autumn evening. After Rath Drum, I could actually relax. Loads of people had got off at Wicklow and I was just eating me Haribo's, having a whale of a time. Time for a toilet tour. I know this is what we're all, oh dear me, look at the state of that. He's had far too much sugar and he is looking for an emergency escape after the massive poo. I mean, no, I didn't, honestly, I wouldn't dare. I just had a wee and looked at what was it? quite a nice toilet. I mean, it was, I know it's a bit dirty there on the floor, but pretty much everything was working apart from, I think it was the soap that wouldn't work but everything else seemed okay. I mean, if you wanted to have a wee, it was fine. A surprising number of people got off at Gori and the train was really pretty light at this point as we headed towards Enniscorthy, Wexford and our final destination, Rosslare Harbour. How is everybody? Um, I'm going to have had to redo this because I could not hear myself um, and it's because my thing was all the way down there and I'm not going to talk loud on one of these. Um, I just think it's so shine. Anyway, this is the first time, well actually the second time, but you're not going to say that bit, um, that I've been able to speak because there's no break. There's, there's a couple of people on. <laughs> that is the carriage at the minute. Um, it's been it's been a funny one. It was so busy, man. 
uh, ridiculously busy coming out of Dublin all the way to to Bray, basically. And the biggest problem with this line, um, with this service, is the line. Um, and that's mostly down uh, to it sharing with the DART, the Dublin Area Rapid Transit System, um, which is basically just a commuter rail service. Um, it's, there's nothing else special about it. It's the, it's the only electrified uh, part of line um, in the whole of uh, Ireland, but still, it is just like like a commuter rail system. And because it shares that, that is a stopping service. Um, we crawled out of uh, Dublin Connolly, and then what's basically happened is it took about an hour just to reach the outskirts of Dublin. Um, this is a three hour, three hour ten minute sort of journey. So an hour of that is just crawling, constantly stop start out of Dublin. Um, like you could have at parts you would have been able to walk faster than the train um so yeah that's just probably one of the downsides but it's, it's been lovely the biggest problem what an absolute divvy i am um the other videos i've seen of this <laughs> are in beautiful sunshine in the middle of the day you can get that even in winter uh, but just for my time and um i needed to come down in the evening today um so and the clocks have just went forward Spring forward, no, fall back, fall back, autumn. Um, yeah, so because of that, it's even darker earlier. Um, so we had a bit of light leaving Connolly, and then the place has been absolutely jam-packed until Ennis Corthy, which was the last station. Uh, the next station is Wexford O'Hanrahan. Um, after that, uh, we'll be going to Rosslare Strand, um, and then to Rosslare Harbour or Europort. Um, yeah. I'll put the prices on at the bottom of the screen now, just so you can see them, because um, I don't want to guess it. But it was pretty, it was pretty cheap for it, especially for a three-hour journey. But actually, if you're looking at miles, um, you know, sort of miles covered, uh, distance covered, um, I actually think, I mean, this is Ireland's biggest um, sort of issue with this type of transport. Uh, no wonder people want to take planes, um, or the motorway system which is excellent now in Ireland never used to be but um over the, the past sort of 20 30 years uh, the motorway system in Ireland has come on so well even though some of it is told um the speed of it um in your own vehicle would have been um I, I, I'm gonna guess much faster um than this but well not much faster it is at least comparable though um which in my opinion if rail is gonna win um, it needs to offer um, speed over over that, but we have definitely not hit the heights of a of a, even a, a motorway um, in a car. Anyway, the best bit is going to come up soon. It is going to be through Wexford, um, Keyside. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video and leave a comment as well. You can slag us off. I don't. I, well, I do care, but you know, um, that would be much appreciated. But. Uh, I will speak to you next when we get to Rosslare, your report.
Okay, so we are now approaching Rosslare Europort. Um, I'm just going to do the outro now um, because I'm just going to I'm going to have to run up to the to the B and B that I'm staying in because uh, they're waiting for us to give us a ring. Um, so <laughs> I told them I was on the train, which is fair enough. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry it was in the dark, uh, but I'll hopefully be able to get um, a nice. Um, ferry video for you tomorrow if Storm Kieran doesn't destroy it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. Please subscribe.